Hmm. No, surely not. He doesn't exactly give off the impression that he's been suffering for thousands of years. The book says that the Yakshas, after fighting against the wrath of the gods for thousands of years, became bound by karma. Poisoned by the hateful thoughts of the gods, the Yakshas would often descend into indescribable fits of terror, rage, or agony. Oh, it's so tragic. After everything they went through in all of their years of protecting Lile, they got no reward and had to deal with so much suffering instead. The book says that the wrathful spirits of the gods defeated during the Archon War can sometimes cause plagues, monsters, or mutations. All of which sound pretty horrendous. Oh, hey, wait a second! Paimon wonders if... Do you think those super evil hilly churls we saw earlier were the mutations that the book's talking about? Yep. Paimon thinks we've already summed up all the key points. So back to the matter at hand. The things we need answers on are one, where did those super evil looking hilly trolls come from? And two, what does Star Snatcher have to do with the Yakshas, right? Now to head back to where this all started and commence our investigation. Let's part the fog of mystery that hangs over Dway and Karst and let the truth shine through in its full glory. <laughs> to be honest, Paimon actually hopes he is a real Adeptus. Uh, his exorcism technique seemed real enough at least. Mm. But if we get our hopes up, there's further for them to come down. So it makes sense to investigate thoroughly first, just to be sure. Alright, let's head back to Wangshu Inn! Flee at my command, foul demons! Flee! Why... Why won't you flee? Didn't the sigil of permission do anything? Has the evil aura of these hilly churls grown in intensity? Sigil of permission, huh? Now why does that sound familiar? Right! It's a keepsake of the Adepti, so it must still contain traces of their power! <gasps> no wonder he was able to scare those monsters away earlier! What are you two babbling on about? One is merely underslept, meaning that one's adeptal power is not in full flow. Were one but given another opportunity... Well, as it happens, there goes another bunch of evil hilly churls over there. Should we leave them to you, then? I... uh... uh one suddenly feels ill at ease. Surely one has overexpended one's adeptal powers. Otherwise, one would surely purge these infernal beings at once. Ugh, so you were just bragging after all! We were right to be suspicious! 
<sighs> Come on, Traveler. Looks like it's up to us. Use your elemental sight and hunt them down. One is merely feeling unwell. One hopes that you shall not spread these tidings wantonly. What happened there? Good thing we had you around, huh? I can't believe that the Master of Stars wasn't powerful enough to defeat those Hillichurls. It's not like the Master of Stars to fail an exorcism. Perhaps he isn't feeling well today? One is... Purging some living beings that had been tainted by the demonic. It would appear that I have caused you some trouble. Huh? He isn't usually this polite. What's going on? But you are exercising demons! How is that causing trouble? That is because the changes that occurred in these monsters stem from me. Or more precisely, from the karma I have accumulated. Mutations? Karma? Oh, does that mean... Yeah, Paimon remembers that Xiao is also called the Vigilant Yaksha, isn't he? <gasps> so... So that means... Oh... Mm, poor Xiao! <laughs> You must mean that piece of literati fanfiction from a few hundred years ago. <laughs> All things are impermanent, and to exist is to suffer. We Yakshas have no need of sympathy or tears. My comrades who have passed on would see your tears as a stain upon their legacy. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. It matters not. In any case, I am on my way to purge a cavern of demonic influence, so we shall part ways here. Wait! Take us with you! We'll be a big help! Paimon promises! No need. I am used to fighting alone. And in any case, these mutations originated from me to begin with. Well then... Oh! Consider it Paimon's parents for being accidentally rude just now! Please? Well, I... Uh, come on, then. Um, so, Xiao, you've been suffering from the bad karma all this time? Suffering is my price to pay for eons of endless slaughter. I have come to accept this. But in recent years, other living things have suffered when the burden should be mine alone to bear. I must reflect on this. Finish your preparations, and we shall enter. We should not leave those monsters be for too long. Chivalry will never die. Ooh, this place gives Paimon goosebumps. I will use the ritual known as the Bane of All Evil to relieve this place of its karma. You must remain calm. Do not allow yourself to be affected by the lingering wrath of bygone gods. Disappear! Thank <laughs> you. 
by such a name. So he is a fraud! Well, we'll continue this discussion later. You should focus on your battle for now. Good that we came here. An unusual number of living things had fallen under infernal influence. Had we not arrived in good time, the consequences would have been unthinkable. Now, this Star Snatcher you speak of, what is the situation? Ooh, Paimon will tell you! 